How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So let's say you updated your iPhone to iOS 18, but you regret it. Maybe it's full of bugs, maybe battery life is really bad, or because of app compatibility. No matter what, you probably want to go back, right? You want to downgrade to iOS 17. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you right now in this video. Let's get started. So as you can probably already tell, we will need a computer for this process. Yes, there's no other way you need a computer if you want to downgrade from iOS 18 to 17. But don't worry because you can use any computer, a Mac or a Windows PC. And the computer doesn't even have to be yours. You can borrow a computer from somebody else, no problem at all, okay? You just need a computer. If you're using a Mac, you don't need to download any software. You already have everything you need. But if you're using a PC, you need to get iTunes. So we all know iTunes, it's over a decade old. It's the software we use to manage the iPhone, right? So if you don't already have iTunes, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description so you can go ahead and download it for free, of course. It's an Apple application, so you can trust it. You can go ahead, download it, and install it on your PC as your typical Windows EXE file, or you can get it from Microsoft Store. It's up to you, all right? So as soon as you do that, we can already go ahead and move on to the next step and this one is mandatory to everyone okay so open up your favorite browser and then go ahead to ipsw.me as you're seeing right there again i'm gonna have all the information on the screen and direct link in the description we're gonna need to go to this website because that's where we're gonna actually download ios 17 and you may say yeah daniel but why go ahead and download from a random website and that's the thing that's not a random website i've been using ipsw.me psw.me for years now if you go back on my channel i've always used it it's super trustworthy you can go ahead and download it no problem and of course it's all official and free what you're gonna need to do here is actually click on iphone of course this process also works for ipads right then if there is any kind of ad you can close it and then right here you choose your iphone model so it has everything so iphone 15 lineup 14 lineup 13 and so on okay i'm using for this video a 14 pro Pro. So that's why I'm clicking here on iPhone 14 Pro. And right here, as you're seeing, signed IPSWs, those are the signed iOS versions that Apple still supports, that Apple still signs, so that Apple still allow us to install on our iPhones. So as you can see here, the latest one right now is iOS 17.5.1, but of course, this will vary a little bit depending on when you're watching this video, but all you have to do is go ahead and click on the green one the signed one. If you go ahead and come back here, you see all iOS versions, but they won't work, okay? The only one that will is the signed one. Maybe there will even be two of them, no problem, but just make sure to get the green one, right? So click on it, and then it's gonna redirect you. Go ahead, scroll down until download, and download it, and that's it, as you can see right there. Okay, so after the download has finished, you can close the web page and you can go ahead and get the IPSW file, so iOS 17, and move it to your desktop, okay? I recommend you that you do that because it's, it's gonna make our lives easier in the future. The next step is to get your iPhone and then go ahead and tap on your iPhone settings, and then on your name, as you're seeing up there, tap on it, you see your Apple ID account information, and then tap on Find My, and then Find My iPhone, and then Disable Find My iPhone. We need to do that because in order for the process to move on, you see it in a second, Find My needs to be disabled. But don't worry, because after we're done, Find My will be re-enabled automatically. You don't have to worry about it. So type in your Apple ID password, and then turn off, as you can see right here. Let it load, let it load a few more, yeah, there we go, turn it off, and then we're done, okay? So, after this, we can already go ahead and plug in our iPhone to the computer. So get your cable, go ahead and plug it in to your computer, and then the other end, you're naturally gonna plug it in to your iPhone. So get a compatible cable, Plug it in, as you can see, make sure it's charging right here, and then wait if you see anything on the screen, maybe it'll ask for trust. If it does, go ahead and trust, and you'll need to also type in your lock screen passcode. 
since it didn't we're good to go so we can already leave our iphone right here where you'll be able to see it because we don't need to touch it anymore until the end of the process. And right here on the computer, maybe you see information about allow accessory to connect or anything like that. You can go ahead and allow everything. So allow. Then if you get a pop-up like this one talking about a software update, you don't need to do it, all right? So not now. So if we're using a PC, go ahead and open up iTunes. If we're using a Mac, let's go ahead and open up Finder. And then right here under locations, we can click on it and then we'll see our iPhone. You can trust and then we'll see a window, a managing window that you see right here. There we go. That's exactly what you see on your PC as well. So if you're using a Windows PC and you open up iTunes, go ahead and look for an icon that I'm putting on the screen right now, which is an iPhone icon. You click there and then you're going to see this very same page with the same information. Okay. And now our final step is to go ahead and restore our iPhone. But wait, because I have to tell you a few things. So in order to downgrade to iOS 17, yes, we need to restore our iPhone. Just like we need to use a computer, we also need to restore. There's no other way. So we are in fact going to restore to factory settings. So it means that we're going to erase our iPhone completely. It's going to be completely blank as if it's opened out of the box. Okay. And this is very important. We will reset. We will lose all of our data on our iPhone. But of course, we can recover later from a backup. So if you watched my video, I told you to backup before updating to iOS 18, right? So then now that you want to downgrade, you don't lose anything because we can recover everything from that backup. And I'm going to show you in this video as well. All right, so let's move on, but don't go ahead and just click on restore because otherwise it will restore to iOS 18. So we need to actually press a key on the keyboard. If we're using a Mac, you're going to press the option key on the keyboard and then click. If we're using a PC, you're going to press and hold the shift key and then click. All right, so I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to press and hold the option key on the keyboard and then I'm going to click on restore iPhone. It'll be exactly the same on the PC, but as I said, with the shift key. As soon as you get this window, you can click on the iOS 17 that we have downloaded on our desktop, remember? And then you go ahead and open. And then it's gonna say it's gonna re-erase and restore. That's it, I already explained you that. Let's click on restore. And then all you have to do now is wait. It's gonna take a few minutes because your computer will prepare and restore your iPhone. And all you have to do is simply wait. Leave it plugged in, leave it connected. Don't touch it, don't touch anything. Just let your computer do the magic and restore downgrade your iPhone to iOS 17. Now we wait. Throughout this process, your iPhone will turn off, turn back on, restart, the screen will be black, then you'll see the Apple logo, progress bar. Don't worry, no matter what you see on the screen, just let it do its thing. Just wait, chill, relax, It'll be ready in a second. So after a few minutes, the process will finish on the computer, but it will continue on your iPhone. So until you have an Apple logo or a progress bar or anything on the screen, wait, don't unplug just yet. Keep it plugged in until it's actually done. And then as you can see, we're done. We have just finished the process. We are on the hello screen and then region, as you can see, appearance and so on. And after a few of those typical steps, the setup process, you will see backup information. Let me actually show you what it looks like. And so you'll see a screen like that with transfer your apps and data. So if you have an iCloud backup, you can tap on it. Or maybe if you want to transfer from another iPhone or from a Mac or PC, or of course, if you don't want to, you can just don't transfer anything and then your iPhone will be blank. All right. It's up to you. I'm going to choose an iCloud backup because I have performed one. Now, of course, you need to type in your Apple ID and password and then continue. As you can see, let it load, let it log in. Then you see terms and conditions. You can agree to that. It's going to sign in and then you can easily choose a backup. You can tap on it. It's going to choose that backup right here load and then of course you can continue until you're done and then guys that's literally it your iphone is going to restore your backup in my case from icloud and in just a few minutes it's going to reboot in ios 17 with 
all of my data in my downgrade process will be finished. So that's literally it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.